All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. Well, ground and pound is a true art form. I and mean, whether you're talking about Khabib Nurmagomedov, Jack Hermanson, or this guy, they've all taken it to the next level over the last several years. Yes, it's unbelievable to watch him take control and find opportunities to land ground strikes. Now, what they do so well is he does not waste punches. He usually will find one good shot and take it. He does not try to just go punch, 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 punch for the sake of punching. He finds position, he finds posture, he brings his hands inside, and then he comes over the top with elbows, or he lands these big right hands that makes the opponent fold up, and then he goes to the next position, whether it be sufficient or continuing to ground and pound his opponent into the bottom of the octave. And of course, it all starts with maintaining top position, which he does as well as anyone in the game. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Weidman is four years the elder. The rest is nearly identical. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 15 wins, six losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Baldwin, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Chris Weidman! And now, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 23 wins, 7 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Oslo, Norway, Jack the Joker Hermansson! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? So here we go, round one is underway, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against, and he's not afraid to engage on the ground today. It's a danger that is not worth risking. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, huge block! All right, going for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Oh, and there's the early takedown, just what the doctor was. Exactly what he wanted to do. You saw it in the training footage. Takedowns are gonna be the key. He got one early, he's on the right track. All right, close guard now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space 
to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. What a punch. And now he's got Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's gonna try to control him, then find a submission. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Lands the ground and pound strike. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. So 28 total strikes have now landed for the former champion, Chris Weidman. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. He actually goes to an omoplata. Great pressure going forward by the top fighter now. You can certainly count on one hand the number of omoplatas that have been executed in the octagon. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. There on the ground, DC, talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 17 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to an omoplata, Jack the Joker Hansen. All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened there. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard, and his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.